Today I am going to prep some potatoes to put in the freezer for long-term storage. Welcome back to Happy Place Cooking. If you have not yet become a subscriber, go on down and hit that button. It's completely free. And don't forget to hit that bell because then you'll be notified anytime I put up a new video. First thing we need to do is wash up these potatoes. I've already done that. I'm saving you time by watching that. You don't need to see that. You know how to wash a potato. I have this big old pot here. I am going to bring these potatoes to a boil. I'm actually going to fully cook these potatoes. They need to be soft-ish so that when you take a knife and stick it in there, it just kind of slides in. So I am just going to let these sit here and cook. When they come to a boil and have been boiling for a little bit, I will check them and then I'll move on to the next step. These have been boiling for several minutes now. I'm not really sure how many minutes it was. I'm going to say about 30 or so. Well, they haven't been boiling for 30 minutes, but they've been in the pot that long. And I can see this one's are coming loose. Oh yeah, that slides in there very well. So these are done. What I'm going to do next is carefully remove them from the pot and place them on the baking pan. Ooh, that one's a little extra soft. Whoa, uh kind of busted that one open. Got to be gentle taking them out of the pot. Obviously, they're they can be a tad bit unstable. Okay. So I'm going to get the rest of these out of the pot and they are going to set on this pan and cool and this is going to take a few hours. You could even leave them and let them set overnight. You need them to be cool. Once they're cooled I will come back and go on to the next step of this storage process. It's been about four hours since my potatoes finished boiling. They are nice and cool. So I'm going to start chopping these up. Now what I like to do is to basically dice them. You could uh, slice them like say for if you wanted to bake scalloped potatoes or something. I'm just doing small chunks. These can be uh, fried later or I put them in the oven. I'll season them a little bit with some uh, salt and pepper and throw them in the oven and let them get nice and browned up. A little bit crispy. They are going to be mushy because they are cooked so you kind of want to have a little bit of uh, finesse I guess a little bit of a light hand when you're cutting them because you don't want to just mush them which you could actually do that too you could mush them all up and make mashed potatoes out of them you could make them as small as you want you could make them as big as you want So I am going to get this batch all nice and cut up and then I will show you how I'm going to store them. As you're cutting, if you run across any of the bad spots in the potato, you can pull them out and trash them so that you don't have bad spots in your frozen potatoes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these little food saver bags. These are zippy bags and I'm going to as carefully as possible put my diced potatoes in my bag. You see some of these fell apart just a little bit but it's fine. Won't hurt anything. I think I get somewhere around 
four to five small to medium potatoes diced up in one bag something along those lines and this is probably I'm, I'm gonna be able to get a little bit more in there but this is probably a couple three meals worth side dishes for uh, for Jesse's dinners I'm gonna cut up one more smaller one here so we want to make the most of our space okay I want to make sure there is no particles of potato that is going to interfere with the bag zipping closed properly do not want that to happen I'm gonna take my little food saver handheld get those potatoes out of the way and I'm gonna vacuum the air right out of those And there we go. Nice and vacuum packed, ready to be stored. Throw them right in your freezer. And one more thing, quick tip. I learned, not knowing, that when these little zippy freezer bags are in your freezer and they get cold enough, if you start moving things around, this little plastic piece, there's a little plastic piece that goes right over the hole that is what sucks allows the air to be sucked out by the little vacuum they fall off which is not good because when they fall off and they're not making a nice grab to the back side of the zippy bag it lets air in and I noticed that my bags were starting to get air and I'm like what is the deal here and then I realized that my little plastic pieces had fallen off of several of my bags unfortunately you can put that back on there it will stick back on but it's like once it falls off it doesn't really work as well as it should so remedy packing tape just big enough to put right over the top of that hole the whole plastic thing and everything and that keeps it good and sealed and it will still be usable even later you can wash it after I'm done with the potatoes I can wash this out and I can peel this tape off and it'll probably pull the little plastic piece off too but I can stick it right back on there and as soon as I vacuum it out I can vacuum all the air out I can put a piece of new piece of tape over the top of it and it's ready to go again just a little tip you might want to know that if you try to use the little food saver vacuum with the zippy bags